MMA, the season that never ends, all begins with MMA Lockup. You're listening to 5 Minutes Alone with Rodney James, presented by MMALockup.com and Fox Sports 1190, The Fan. On today's show is Ultimate Fighter winner, NCAA Division I All-American wrestler, and UFC light heavyweight contender, Ryan Bader. Ryan, thanks for joining us. How's it going, my man? Good, good. Just here in Australia. Um, got in uh, yesterday and, and getting on their time and all that and working out and just uh, just getting ready. Yeah, I saw that you had tweeted uh, your arrival in country there. So obviously, uh, you came to Australia to take on. Is it Anthony? Is it Parosh or Parosh? I've heard it pronounced uh, both ways. Yeah, I have to. I, I call it Parosh. Yeah, that that works for me, man. Uh, <laughs> so, how was your weight cut going? It's got to be a miserable weight cut to take such a long flight uh, just a few days before the weigh-in. Yeah, yeah, my weight is actually pretty good, so it wasn't too bad, you know. Um, the layovers are what get you because I flew to um, LA from Phoenix to LA, LA to Sydney, and Sydney to Brisbane, and then you know we had a five-hour layover in LA. So the flight is only an hour from Phoenix to LA, but then wait for five hours, get on a 15-hour flight, sit to Sydney, and wait for three hours, get on a you know hour and 15-minute flight to Brisbane. So uh, you know just something that's part of it though, and I've traveled and fought a bunch in different countries, so I'm kind of used to the whole traveling and flights and all that. I'm just out of curiosity because, I mean, you just seem like a really big guy. How much weight do you have to typically cut before a fight? I'm probably 220 when I leave, you know, so around 15 pounds. I'll get here and be like 215 just from the flight. And, and I like to keep uh, – I, I don't really go upwards of 217, so, you know, that's it, it's pretty easy, you know, you know, 10, 12 pounds, and, and uh, I'm good. So that, that could take, you know, an hour or two hours, and I'll be fine, so – Weight's not a big issue for me, like other, like some other people. Yeah, sounds like you've got it pretty well under control, my man. Folks, you're listening to Five Minutes Alone with Rodney James, courtesy of MMALockup.com and Fox Sports 1190, The Fan. With us is Ryan Bader, who's taking on Anthony Parosh this weekend at UFC Fight Night in Brisbane, Australia. Now, uh, Ryan, you and uh, Anthony Parosh match up extremely well on paper. You're both uh, pretty big 205ers. And you're both really accomplished grapplers, you know, you with the wrestling and him with jiu-jitsu. How do you see this fight playing out? You know, I, I feel uh, I'm comfortable everywhere. I think his best attribute would be, uh, you know, on the ground, but uh, uh, more so on top of, of somebody. Um, yeah, I, I think he has a good jiu-jitsu everywhere, but, you know, so does pretty much everybody else in the UFC these days. Um, so I just feel comfortable. I, I, just, I don't think he can get me down with my wrestling. Um, I feel... Um, I have more power and I'm better on the feet, um, and I feel like he's in trouble also if I get on top of him. So, um, you know, I'm pretty confident going in, into this. You know, that being said, he's a, he's a great fighter and uh, very experienced, very tenacious, and, and will come after you. And and uh, you know, he he goes uh, he he comes after his opponent the whole time, and that's how he's finished a lot of guys getting on top of them, being relentless, either TK on them or submitting them. So. Um, it's going to be a fight, a good fight for sure, but I'm looking to go in there and, and get an impressive win and hopefully stop him. Well, I wish you uh, the best of luck. I'm definitely going to be checking it out. Uh, this is a great card coming up this weekend, so I'm I'm really looking forward to it. Um, your manager told me that we're kind of short on time, so uh, I just have one more question I've been dying to ask you because you were the only guy in the UFC who's fought Glover Teixeira and John Jones, uh, both of them as they were sort of on their meteoric rise to the top, and now they're going to fight each other for the championship. I would love to hear your um, unique perspective on, on on how that fight's going to turn out. Do you have any predictions for uh, Jones versus Teixeira? Yeah. I um, mean, you know, it, it's it's hard. Uh, you know, i got to go, I guess, with Jones right now, um, you know, because of – He's been fighting, you know, those five round fights. He's been fighting title fights, you know, the the top top guys, and he has that experience, that that whole deal. Um, he's obviously really good fighter, athlete, the whole, the whole nine yards. Um, but Glover definitely is very very strong, uh, good jiu jitsu, and hits really really hard. So he has the ability to, um, if he gets inside of John Jones, to definitely knock him out. So I, I think that's really, you know, which is pretty much every John Jones fight is. Uh, you know, getting inside of his his reach, his kicks, his knees, and um, you know his hands, and so 
if he does if he does that, Phil Glover definitely has a great shot of winning. Um, but as of right now, you know, um, I probably have to go with Jones just. You know, because he's been he's been there and he's been doing it at that you know the highest level in the championship fights. I really appreciate that, Ryan. It's it's very cool to get to get your point of view on that matchup. It's very uh, like I said, it's an interesting perspective because you're the only one that's fought both of those guys. So very cool. Um, so like I said, we've got to kind of cut this short. So we're about out of time. Is there anything else that you would like to say to the fans or your sponsors or any shout outs you'd like to give? No, I just appreciate the fans and. And, you know, you can follow me on Twitter at Ryan Bader. You can find out everything about my sponsors and all that. But, yeah, just thank you for, you know, supporting me in the in the sport of MMA. And, and uh, I look to put on a great fight coming here on, uh, on uh, Friday night. All right, sir. Well, thank you very much for joining us. I wish you luck, and I'll be checking out your fight this weekend. Oh, I appreciate good. it. Thanks for having me on. Devil whispers in my ear. It's time for your curtain call. So I dress myself on up 